everyone. This is my Ender 3 Max Neo. I've been using it for a few months, and in this video, I'm going to do a quick review in comparison with the regular Ender 3. So let's start here at the top. And what I really like is the two Z axes or the dual Z axes. You have one here and another on this side. With the regular Ender 3, you only have the one Z axis. This makes it more stable and it definitely prints much better. Another thing to mention here, since we're at the top, is the placement of the filament holder. That got moved to the side, which feeds much better. With the regular Ender 3, used to be at the top and is definitely not a good position for it. And it's a little bit weird the way it feeds. So this is much better. I like the filament holder here on the side. Going to the extruder, you have a filament sensor and a regular Bowen tube. You definitely have an upgraded hot end and is much better than the regular Ender 3. The fan do get a little bit louder, but I have no big problem with that. It's a minor detail and you can definitely lower the speed if you want to get rid of that fan noise. Now, moving to the big elephant in the room. This is the printer bed. It's much larger than the Ender 3, which I like. This is a 31 by 31. So that's great. However, it's a glass bed. So far, everything about this printer feels like an upgrade versus the regular Ender 3, except the bed. I would have loved a PEI bed or even just a regular Ender 3 bed would have been better than the glass bed. I'm just not a big fan of the glass bed. If you watch my channel, you probably already know that. But that's okay, and it's an easy upgrade you can do yourself. Going down here, we have the knobs, so you can tighten the belts. So we can look at these knobs that you can adjust the bed tightness. That's something I really like. And down here, you have this drawer that you can store some stuff in. And same thing here, we have that knob that you can use to tighten the belt. Going to the screen, this is not a touch screen. However, it's very nice and clean, and you can control it using this knob. So far, overall, I love this printer. I think the only problem with it is the bed, and I would have loved any bendable type of bed. However, I might end up upgrading this in the future myself. Other than that, it's definitely an upgrade versus the Ender 3. I like it overall, and for the price that it's selling for, I think that's a good deal. I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out or grab one to yourself. Not a sponsored or anything. I just wanted to do a review and give my personal opinion. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.